We all know that Germans love their beer. They are passionate about their Wurst, and Fußball is like a religion to them. But there is a German passion that is one of our favorite things about living here in Germany. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie and that was my wife, Aubrey. Whenever we first moved to Germany, we noticed tons of people all outside hiking and biking and walking. And we learned that Germany has two to 300,000 kilometers of trails for these activities because hiking is Germany's number one outdoor activity. And today we're gonna dive into this German passion. We love to hike, so Germany has been the perfect place for us with ample opportunities to experience hiking. All across Germany, there are really well-maintained trails and really well-marked as well. There's also such a wide variety of terrains all across Germany, so there are trails that go through mountains, through forests, through coastal walks, through wine trails, and through fields. It is not uncommon to find a row of cars parked at a trailhead and Germans not just simply walking, but taking off down the trail with their Nordic hiking poles in hand. Because hiking is so popular in Germany, you often find facilities along all the trails, like benches, picnic tables, shelters, and our favorite observation towers. Many trails have treetop walks or observation towers like this one that offers impressive views. This observation tower began construction in the 1890s and was completed in 1900. Nearly 93 feet up in the tower, hikers can take in impressive 360 degree views of the landscape around and of the city of Kaiserslautern below. you're not gonna come across 12th century castles. But in Germany, there are over 25,000 castles and castle ruins. So one of the amazing things about hiking in Germany is that there are many castles along these trails. Along these longer trails, there are many places to stop to eat and drink and even stay the night along the way. And some of these castles have even been turned into youth hostels. In Germany, there is a limited right to roam known as Jedermann's Recht and it is federally protected, although each state has the ability to limit that right if they would choose to do so. Basically what it means is the public is allowed to enjoy the open landscape, uncultivated land, bodies of water, or forests, even if it's privately owned. If it's privately owned and there's a trail through it, you're allowed to walk across and enjoy the landscape. This is different than in the US where we lean more towards protecting private ownership. So if someone owns a big plot of land in the US, you are not allowed to go on that land. This is different in a lot of parts of Europe where you can walk across fields, enjoy people's land. However, in Germany it's a little bit more limited, but it's still such a cool right because it welcomes people out into nature and enjoy the countryside a lot more. One thing that I also really love about this is that a lot of times, especially where we live, the countryside is unobstructed by fences and everything. In the US where we have these private lands, there will be a lot of fences all over to make sure people know where their land is. I think it's because of this right that there aren't these fences protecting everybody's plot of land, but it makes the landscape much more beautiful because it just looks so wild and just open all over the place. Oh gosh, there's a farmer picking up manure right now and it's 
is in the air. It smells so bad. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Along with all of the great trails in Germany, there are also a lot of marked pilgrimage routes that lead to holy sites. A famous example of a pilgrimage route here in Europe is the Camino de Santiago. This trail ends at the burial place of the Apostle James. There are a lot of popular trailheads and trails that converge in France and Spain leading to the end of the Camino de Santiago. But something that we've learned that's super interesting is that there are trails that are marked all across Europe that converge at these popular trail routes and lead all the way to the end of the Camino de Santiago, including one that goes right here through Ramstein leading all the way to the end of the trail. There are also a lot of other marked pilgrimage routes that we've seen throughout Ramstein. Another one of Germany's trail networks isn't really trails at all, but rather highways with no cars. Along with hiking, Germans are also avid bike riders. The German Ministry of Transportation and Digital Infrastructure reports that 80% of Germans use bicycles. Whether they are commuting to work, commuting to school, or taking mountain biking trips, if the sun is shining, the Germans are riding. In 2010, a road between Duisburg and Dortmund was shut down as three million people hit the highway on foot, on skates, and on bicycles. This inspired the Radschnellweg, or the RS1, which will be a completely auto-free bike highway that will be 62 miles long, will connect 10 cities and four universities, and is expected to take 52,000 vehicles off the road every single day. Ready, set, go! In the US, it is very common for families to go on Sunday afternoon strolls around their neighborhood. And in Germany, they have something very similar called Sonntagsspaziergang. And this is a Sunday afternoon walk. So in our area of Germany, there are a lot of really small villages that are connected by really well-maintained paths that a lot of times are paved. So you can very easily just walk or bike from one village to the next. Because of the current situation, we unfortunately weren't able to show the diverse landscapes and trails across Germany, so this video just showed our area. But we're really excited to check out more trails across Germany, so leave your favorite German trails in the comments and we will check them out later. And thanks so much for checking this video out, guys. If you liked it, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. We would love to have you traveling with us. Auf Wiedersehen. Action. In which the public has access. Access. Okay. Which allows the public to have access to open lands uncultivated. Dang it, that's it, uncultivated. The public has access to open landscape uncultivated lands, forests, waters of bodies, etc. You cannot go on their land and they can tell you to leave if you enter it. This isn't good. In, <laughs> in our area of Germany, right here through our town, which is super cool.